Lenin wrote a really good book called Materialism. It was quite interesting that uh, Einstein got to be very popular in, uh, shortly after that. But what was happening is that the, the capitalists wanted to actually fight this whole philosophy of materialism that Le Lenin was espousing. And so what happened is that they picked up on Einstein where he was going with this, his philosophy was just the opposite. It was immaterialism, it was just the reverse. And this is one reason we're stuck with Einstein's views, four-dimensional space-time and light traveling you know, at a constant rate and all that sort of stuff, which uh, uh, well, I'm in a group called the Natural Philosophy Alliance, which includes a lot of uh, physicists, engineers, other scientists who oppose Einstein and the Big Bang. So the, the Big Bang and Einstein all go together. Remember that uh, they claim that the universe is expanding, and that in, that's based on Einstein's uh, idea that light travels at a constant velocity. And Einstein's been proven wrong many, many, many times. But of course, uh, it's not accepted. A paradigm shift works this way. The mainstream has a set of assumptions they all work on. If there's ever going to be a change in that particular theory, what has to happen is somebody from the outside has to change it. For example, uh, Wegener, who was a, a meteorologist, not a geologist, was the fellow who invented continental drift, which became plate tectonics. So somebody on the outside has to do it. Why? Because they're not financially dependent. On, they haven't been paid $500 million to prove Einstein right. Population growth goes hand in hand with capitalism. So you have, capitalism requires an ever-increasing production. A company must produce more uh, every year. They, they can't just stagnate. Uh, that, that, the companies that do that become utilities or some such thing. So they have to continue or they get taken over by the government because they're required, but they're not making any money, so nobody wants to invest in them. So that's what you're going to see more of. Eventually, we're going to have steady state economics. Steady state economics is not capitalism. Then it'll be some kind of socialism. It'll be a mixture of the two. That's probably what will happen. Uh, I think that the population growth rate is going to be pretty, pretty, darn, pretty low uh, by the year 2050. And that's why I predict the Big Bang and Einstein will be popular up until 2050. So all you younger viewers, you can watch it happen, but you know, it probably isn't something that I'm going to ever see.